The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, exploring our return to a more balanced, natural, wild world where we have personal choice, choice, personal health, and personal freedom. Oh, I like that. Hey, thanks for joining you us on your journey. Year yeah, I figured weekend. I'd change it. Yeah. It's a beautiful day here in downtown bit. Clearwater, folks. 65 degrees, partly cloudy, really nice weather. I'm Nico DeHaan. This is Paige Clark, and we're here for the New Year's for you. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends, and uh, we sure did. And, yeah, we did. Ready right. to start the new year with yeah. a roll. And you can do that by, uh, first of all, uh, Health Signals newsletter. Pick up a, a subscription today. It's only $5 per issue. $10 a month gets you all the necessary hardware you need and software to uh, kind of springboard your uh, uh, way into health, I would say. And you know what, what you got with the newsletter is really the two of us who spend a great deal of our time. Yep. Uh, reviewing literature and so forth, creating a, a really interactive newsletter. People say it's one of the best they've seen, so I hope that you guys will join us this year. Yeah. And also pick up some Primal Edge, please, our uh, daily nutrition, uh, very uh, outstanding product. Uh, got a lot of great reviews on this, and you can pick that up on uh, tfnn.com, uh, Primal Edge. And, uh, of course, take, we're taking your phone calls here at 877-927-6648. You know, I kind of wanted to start off the new year kind of reflecting on the past because that's generally what I do personally. Uh -huh. In fact, one of the things that was really nice this year, first time in a long time, I had a real relaxed time, four days off over uh, the Christmas holidays uh -huh. and four days off over the New Year's holidays. And uh, it just really helped me a lot to kind of just detune from... The normal stress life of, uh, you know, what we have this modern age, even though I'm kind of retired, you know, I'm still going like crazy. And you just need to really down tune, I think. And that's you know, really important. as you move to uh, retirement, some people have told me, some of my clients have said, it's actually sometimes you feel more stressed because you've got this newfound time and all of a sudden yeah. you start to fill it. We have this natural inclination to want to fill our time. Fill our time up, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, especially in the modern age, because I think we've got a lot more distractions. And so we want to get away from the distractions in a way. And we don't know quite where to go because we're not so much connected with our natural world, which I think gives us signals. It gives us signals in the weather, gives us signals in the season, gives us signals with the growth and animals around us. We don't have that connection anymore because we're surrounded by concrete, basically. Right. I love the little, I have a T-shirt that says, become an outsider yeah and i mean that in the pure sense of, course. of being an outsider yes. reconnecting with nature yeah. and finding that time to do yeah and um so i think that's one of one of my goals i ask a lot of people in the chat room you know what are your what are your goals this year if you want to share them with us uh, well i wanted to find out before we go into the goals really what made you start on the journey to say okay i feel like there's something wrong with me, with the way people are eating, uh, the way our health is declining, uh, especially today when we consider ourselves the top of the food chain. We know more today than ever as far as uh, what we've explored about the, our world, and we seem sometimes to know less. Yeah. Oh, so what was originally? Yeah, the, what the, spurred uh, you to say, okay, I, I need to make a change and I'm going to do some research about it? Uh, gosh. It was the way I was feeling, the way I was looking, yep. and the way I was feeling. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of my uh, realization that something was definitely wrong happened at the same time that I guess you could say I was in perimenopause. Uh, it was like trying to find out, you know, what was truly the smoking gun? What, yep. was the, what was the real cause of why all of a sudden, you know, I didn't feel the same, I didn't look the same? And as a result of trying to find those answers, uh, you know, much, this is not, you know, any real surprise. A lot of people tell me the same thing. They yeah. go to doctor after doctor, and the doctors uh, in their in 
their intent is to be helpful, but yeah. they really don't have any answers. Um, and in fact, so, in my newsletter, the very last page, there's a, a little uh, cartoon that says, you know, um, I forget exactly what it said, but it, it was right. basically yeah. the guy says, boy, you're in excellent health here. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right. Something exactly. along that line. It wasn't exactly so, that. But. So I would say that uh, it was just this realization. I, I think I told uh, some of the listeners before that uh, what I noticed was this body ache feeling. It's all over body ache feeling. And, uh, you know, my mom has... Uh, has has the diagnosis of fibromyalgia, yeah. and I remember that we couldn't really understand it. It was just this achiness, this yeah. achiness. And that's Jasmine had that. You know, yeah, right. I know, and that's why I was going to say, Jasmine, what a great show. I mean, it's yeah, wonderful it was to nice see to her yeah. on the show and uh, good stuff. Um, but say, well, well, guess what? So did I, although I never really had anyone diagnose me with that. In my mind, I was all of a sudden able to empathize and understand what my mother was saying. And um, I... I noticed the soreness, and I can remember unloading my dishwasher, and it was like a struggle to lift my arm to ju just put glasses on the yeah. shelf. I said, "There's something wrong here. Mm -hmm. There's something really wrong here." And, and isn't fibromyalgia kind of a new disease? Because like 20 years ago, I don't think I ever heard of it. And all of a sudden, I, I had a customer that came in and said yes. she had it, and that's when I started reading material yes. on that. Now, now, please mis don't misunderstand me. I am not in any way discounting the diagnosis or what yeah. yes no but it is but really what it is is a disease of toxicity and where do we get our toxicity from the environment yeah. and our foods so it's a it's a uh, almost a autoimmune type disease well, in a sense in a, where it's kind of as you're robbing yourself of the yeah. nutrition you know again yeah. remember dr marshall says that we are alone in the world yes most of the rest of the world does right. not agree that there really is anything autoimmune there's always an infectious or imbalance in the milieu, yeah. the environment, the sea that the cells live in. So, well, long story short, um, I began thinking, if this is how I feel at 40, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. I can remember thinking, achy, puffy, swollen. So, I, I chalked it up to my hormones. I were, did a lot of that. I've tried everything. You know, I did bioidentical hormones. I went off them. I didn't. I didn't. I tried this. I, I thought this was going to be the fix. You know, I tried some food things. You know, I went with more of a green juice drinks. I realized that I was protein deficient. Puffiness is often a result huh. of a lack of protein okay. and healthy fats. And um, and I think that I have shared with you all that I believe that really that, that onset of that fibromyalgia, that pain, that soreness that I had that really put me into this heads down thing was I got sick. Now, this is now going on eight, nine years ago. This is the last time I remember being sick. So this tells you that I was on the right track. No doubt about it. Um, I went to the doctor. My friend, uh, I was sick. I, I mean, I really basically got like uh, pneumonia pleurisy. If you've ever had pleurisy, it's very painful in the lungs. I got sick. I was given an antibiotic. I was given a fluoroquinolone. Uh, antibiotic, and you all know how I feel about fluoride and fluoride-based pharmaceuticals. Uh, little do we know this is a highly used drug, and there's a, there should be a black box warning. It causes magnesium depletion. It causes nutrient depletion, and uh, I really believe the combination of that created an environment where yeah. I had candida, yeast overgrowth, da, 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 all of those things. And in a long story short, that's how I found Premier Research Labs. Okay. In my research, I became and how long a practitioner. Ago was that um, well, I, all this started happening about seven, eight years ago, okay. and then it was really 2008, 2009 that I met up with Dr. Marshall's group, and right. then decided to, you know, become, and I'm a level three certified practitioner. Right. Um, I have one more shadowing thing to do with Dr. Marshall personally, which is part of my goal this year. Cool. Well, that's a nice, uh, you know, beginning too. And for me, uh, 2008 was the start yeah, too was of the, the paleo. Yeah, uh, that was the same basically. Yeah. I wasn't purely paleo, but I knew I was had to make a change. Yeah, and uh, you know, I kind of amended myself to more primal because I wanted to incorporate the butter and uh, cheeses that I've always been growing up mm -hmm. in that I felt all right with. So, but my journey began a lot long, uh, sooner before that because I had a similar experience. I was in the shower and picked up one leg and washed it. And the other one, and the other one was stiff. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, you know, there's something missing here because I was a runner for many years, and I uh, was very active. And this was like 20 years ago, and I said, you know, it's like a flexibility problem. So I, that's when I started incorporating stretching. 
yeah. into my routine of doing uh, you know some strength training, some running, and, and and watching my diet. But at that time, I was doing like 40, 30, 30 diet about 20 years ago, which was kind of a, a really balanced diet, throwing a little bit more fat into it, but not too high, keeping my carbohydrates at 40 percent, which wasn't too high either. But uh, so I was getting generally healthy, but I still had the irritable bowel syndrome that would flare up maybe once a month, almost like a period for a woman, you know, it was really annoying. And I had that since I was 15 years old when I started eating cereals. And I finally resolved that because I uh, looked back and said, okay, now when did it begin? And I started doing that and all of a sudden the smell of the cereal came to me and I said, that's when my nervous stomach started. Isn't that's that what amazing they called it. how yeah. you're, you're, when you really tap into your intuition, the answers come? Yeah, they do come. So, then, you know, that started me on the journey of at least looking at things and the stretching helped too. But then all of a sudden when my sister gave me the book uh, from Mark Sesson, the uh, blueprint, the primal blueprint, it really started opening the door for me. I said, well, this makes sense. Let me do some more research. Nora Gigiotis' book, and that, that was Primal Body primal mind mm, and that kind of set book. me straight on the fat but I think one of the biggest mistakes people make and I, I, I did this in the beginning too was when I ate the meat I it wasn't too concerned about where the meat came from mm -hmm. I think the biggest leap for me as far as health was concerned is being concerned where the food comes from from its source mm -hmm. so in other words if we're eating animals what are the animals eating and if they're eating something really good, where are they eating it from? And doing that research, and that changed how I felt completely. Completely. Yeah. And that's really what we're all about, folks, is we want us to become conscious about our food and where we're getting our food because it really is our fuel. It is what's going to keep us healthy. Um, you know, when you ask how you get started, and I, I mentioned that that's when this whole journey started for me, it's been an exploration. I've made mistakes for me, and it really is a personal thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that we've talked about it. You know, I've, I, you know, you haven't changed your look, your shows. I look at your shows, but you can see me on different shows. You know, I'm up ten pounds, I'm down ten mm -hmm. pounds. But a lot of it, guys, is that, um, quite honestly, is that uh, I experiment on myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. I have to. And I do that too. Because I have to know when I, you know, try and help my clients. Um, and, you know, this fall it was a real big thing to prove to me that it really was the food that makes the difference and not the hormonal changes yeah. of, you know, because I've got a lot of women say, oh, my hormones are changing. Yes, they are changing, but the food is a switch. Yeah. The food is a, is a switch. Yeah. And during these holidays, of course, I've consumed a little bit more alcohol. I had wine just about every evening, not quite every evening, but mm -hmm. just about. And so I don't feel quite 100%. I feel like I'm feeling really good. But I know at, uh, you know, next week I start training for the Pan Ams. Mm -hmm. Everything goes back to normal again, and uh, we start cranking away. So it's yeah, really and cool. I had a really good holiday because, as you know, I've been working on my primal mm -hmm. redo. Yep. And um, you know, I purposely this fall introduced, reintroduced what I call inflammatory foods. Uh, you know, page on puppy and page on primal. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back. The number here is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four. Please give us a call uh, and uh, pick up some primal edge and take a look at our brand new newsletter out right now. Thanks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary for Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Nico and Paige here on Living on Primal Lifestyle. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, we've been talking about what happened in the past and stuff, but I want to talk a little bit about the newsletter. I have a brand new one out there today. And, uh, the heart and campfire influences on arterial blood pressure. Yeah, this is an interesting uh, article. Uh, it shows how uh, you know some of the natural things we've been talking about really do affect us. And you know what I thought about when you put that up there? Well, you know, uh, one of the meditation techniques that we teach is actually gazing into a lit candle. Oh, yeah. And the, the ability to sort of disconnect when we do that. It's, it's really the same thing. So if you think about tribal cultures who spent their evenings around a campfire together, yeah, and in fact, I have a good friend of mine, Lucian uh, McDonald, who had told me years ago that he was starting to read his uh, books, not on his Kindle so much or on his iPad, but a, a, an actual book and by candlelight. Because uh, on an evolutionary scale, we were reading that way for much longer than the artificial light, and it's much more natural for us. And I thought that was, and he, that was years ago. He wow, was ahead. that's a nice article. Just a kind of short thing, but the whole PDF is here, where the whole uh, thing came from. See? So there's a connection. This is right why there. our newsletter is just top yeah. notch. This is a few articles from Dr. McCullough over the years. Uh, people eat more processed foods than ever before, and gives you some nice. That's what charts. we're about changing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, people try and ask me. Right there. Well, what take is control. it that, yeah, what, yeah, take control of your health. You know, whether you slant toward more towards true paleo or more traditional Western Pricer, primal, um, or for that matter, if you're a vegetarian, I don't want to, I don't want to beat each other up about it. Uh, what I want us to do is respect each other's opinions and choices, yeah. but I want us to understand that in no circumstance, 
ever are processed foods a health food. No, never. And, and whether you are vegan, vegetarian, primal, traditional, or paleo, the processed, packaged, box, bag, canned right. uh, food with the additives is what is causing the problem. Yeah, and here's the major problem right here. Sugar consumption, especially sodas and juices, drives diseases. And here's some charts showing you exactly where the juices and everything came in. Notice the real big, yeah, the real big uh, incline happened around 1900, 1910, 1920. Dr. Weston A. Price was the uh, astute dentist who started alarmingly saying, "What is going on with people's teeth?" Yeah, never had seen it before. Right. And then World War II came, World War I, and declined again because people started going back to basics. And then from 1950 on, again, we started really doing this uh, bad health uh, trip. And look at the increase in calories, a 20% yeah. increase in overall calories. And that's what happens. But uh, a decrease in our activity, yeah. I'm sure. A lot of assumptions about eggs uh, in the past. I know a lot of people said don't eat the yolks. Don't, some people say don't eat the whites. This gives you some really good information about what actually is a good healthy egg and why it's important to eat, you know, from chickens that actually eat good food. Yeah, to get your, you know, chickens, yeah. guys, uh, despite <laughs> what the grocery store eggs, even the health food store eggs say, uh, don't eat a vegetarian diet. <laughs> They're sure. carnivores. They eat bugs. Yeah. Uh, this one was about wheat. And yeah, it really kind of hit on some of the points of why wheat is so dangerous. You know, it's an inflammatory food, point blank. Hugely blind. inflammatory, it's and it's changed so much over the years. I think in the beginning it was inflammatory, but not as much as it is today, I think. Uh, Nestle's plan, I talked about this with uh, Jasmine yes, uh, last week, and Nestle's plan to invent a, a fat-burning drink that could play, replace exercise. Sounds like a dream for many people, but uh, we know exercise plays in a bigger role. And then the next uh, one is about the AMPK. This this is pretty detailed. I wanted to put it in there because it has all these links in it that get, you know, if you want to do your own research, this is the article. You Look at that. Do it in. Wow, that's There's all great kinds of charts resource. and everything. Mm -hmm. So I, I really wanted to put that in, and uh, it's a lot. Hey, look at that infographic. Let me yeah. see that with the woman. Go back. Okay. Trends in molecular medicine, okay, kind of showing the difference of uh, storing fat. And, you know, what I try and tell people is. We don't really want to lose weight because then we're always looking for it. Mm -hmm. Because when we lose something, we want to find it again. Mm. We don't want to find our excess weight. We want to release <laughs> we it. Of, yeah. yeah. Here's a tale of two calves, one fed on raw milk, the other one on pasteurized, and it really goes through the process of showing you exactly the, in Look fact, at the difference the in the liver, right. Yeah. So we could, we could attribute that Look to ourselves. The this is a healthy cow, and this one isn't. This, mm -hmm. These are actually twin cows. Right, well, undescended. Yep. That's interesting. Yep. Mm -hmm. European study finds raw milk boosts, uh, boosts immunity, something we know well about. This is an interesting article about how we date today, and it's completely different than how our ancestors dated, of course. I think you'll find that interesting. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, George Carlin always has some really good words. Trying to be happy by accumulating possessions is like trying to satisfy hunger by taping sandwiches all over your body. You know, True genius. Um, he really was. And isn't it interesting that uh, he died? I mean, I noticed that all the people that actually are trying to wake us up die. <laughs> well, everybody dies, so I mean... Well, I know, yeah. but they die. Yeah. Untimely. Yeah, it's too bad. Is that the conspiratorial side of me? No, of course it is. Well... I don't mind that part, though. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, stick around. We're going to be back. Uh, we'll finish up this newsletter, showing you what's in there, and then uh, i got some real interesting stuff uh, later on in the show. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. 
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Nico and Paige here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. We're going over the newsletter, uh, and you can pick this newsletter up for $10 a month. So it's, you get two issues, first and third Friday of each month. Really and all loaded. the great links. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff there. I mean, even though it's 26 pages, it's really more like 326 pages because yeah. there's always links to other things. From um, 8 to 80, an expert reveals the price we pay for not sleeping. Uh, this is really interesting. Uh, I think uh, it was by the Ohio State University uh, Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, another study that shows long-term shift works lessens brain par power. We're really, uh, our society, the way we're setting up these work schedules for people, you know, because everybody has to work at least so many hours. Right. This is what our society has dictated to us. So uh, as soon as we become of age, we become subservient to the state, and we have to work, and, you know, that's a whole different subject. But there's a big price to pay for people who work at night yeah. and then have to sleep during the day. But it's, it's uh, unnatural. Some people do really well with it. Right. But uh, I think the, for the majority of people, I know I've done shift work before, and it's... it's it's really hard and you know one of the interesting things of course is we have first responders mm -hmm. that go you know 24 hours on sometimes 48 hours on now how good are you as a first responder after that you know in the middle of that, that 48 hour shift that you know it just boggles the mind that you know and here, these are people that are dealing with our health issues and they do a great I'm, job I, and I, I have a lot of them at the dojo you know but yeah. my goodness I a, have to laugh okay. I was at a seminar um, you know I'm always at seminars. I can't, remember, you know, mm -hmm. remember when a couple months ago, and uh, it was it was over in Vero Beach, 
And uh, so when I got there, my seminar was starting Saturday morning mm. at 8.30. Yeah. So I went, because it was right on the ocean, to have a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And when I was sitting there, it was 8.30 in the morning, I was sitting there, and all of a sudden I realized that there's a bunch of women talking, and they were nurses, I could tell, in you know, uniforms, you know, medical people. And I thought, oh, they must be getting ready to join me in my class, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be taking, because uh, it was for the acupressure class. Yeah. And all of a sudden, one's ordering a martini, and one's ordering really? <laughs> a mar second martini. I'll have another margarita or a daiquiri or something. And I was thinking, I, I wasn't. I was just thinking, wow, man, when they go to a seminar, they really turn it on. <laughs> they, they, they're getting out of town. They're having to do cocktails before he's in. Yeah. And then I realized they, they were, you know, shift workers who'd gotten off. And uh, probably what they do, because it's their end of their day. Trying they're, to de-stress a little bit. They're trying to de-stress sure. and go home. I guess if you're going to be a shift worker, you've got to do what you can do so that you can make that transition. Hopefully yeah. they get home safe and get some good sleep, you know? Yeah. This is what one soda drink uh, does to your body? I love infographics yeah. because I think we're, we, we've become so visual <clears throat> that when we see these graphical representations, we can see it. Yeah, see and it. this is fast food consumption. To links to lower test scores in eighth graders. This is a pretty extensive study that was and done. And what do most of them eat? In fact, look yeah. at that, a school lunch. Let's just look at that tray, Nico. I mean, yeah, okay, nothing I want, I uh, you know, dead fruits because they've been canned. What you is know, this that, thing that, right uh, That's a carton of milk. Oh. Okay. Homogenized milk, yeah. you know, damaging arteries. I thought, boy, that's a nice Green piece beans. of uh, fat. Uh, maybe that's some uh, Kerrygold. Sugar cookie, there. sugar gluten pizza. Oh, boy, it's terrible. Overnight cheese. Yeah. <laughs> How to tell the truth about your life. I found this very interesting article. This is by James Vernon, a real brilliant uh, writer. And I thought you would find this interesting, too. We've got a couple of great recipes in here. Carrot, beet, slaw with pistachios Ooh. and raisins. Looks fantastic. Yummy. How to make a hickory smoked uh, beef brisket. Uh, some primal exercises. Yoga can help you improve your balance. This is known uh, throughout the yoga world. But uh, a lot of people really don't know that you can really start off with these basic exercises on here. And oh, those really are great diagrams yeah. uh, to do at home, guys. Yeah. And uh, those of you that are busy trading, you know, to take a five or ten minute break and try a couple new poses, that's a great way to start integrating and becoming yeah. becoming a primal living being. And being primal. Another way you can do that is, of course, get our primal edge. Here's the page for that. And our last page, and this is, uh, this is a little caption here. You have a rare condition called good health. Frankly, I'm not sure what to do about it. Or <laughs> what to how to I'm treat not it. sure how to treat it. <laughs> so wow. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, that's our newsletters, folks. Please pick that up. It's uh, $10 a month, uh, $5 for each issue, and uh, this will get you on your way to doing your own research about how to remain healthy and some other real interesting articles in there about all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so what can we learn about saturated fat from Home Depot? Uh, yeah, what can we learn, Paige? Well, you know, this is uh, from Johnny Bowden, uh, America's rogue nutritionist. He uh, teamed up with um, uh, Dr. Sinatra and wrote the cholesterol myth. And, uh, you know, I, I think you can look at Johnny Bowden. He's like your age, felt lean yep. machine. I really believe that he's on target with really helping us get in the right I love the book. I, I really, uh, and I saw him on many different programs, on news programs and things like that. These guys are right on about what they, the research that they did and found about saturated fat. And it, it speaks really volumes to, uh, you know, this information is so important because this starts you thinking a different way about the, what you're consuming. And I, I mm -hmm. think that's, that's an important thing to do. Well, Dr. Bowden was kind of making an analogy about uh, paint. You know, he says, I started thinking about uh, paint. And uh, he's talking about a researcher, Dr. Volek, who has done some research and found that the dietary saturated fat that's in your body is almost completely dependent on what it's eaten with. And he says the best example of that is mixing paint, you know. So, you know, you're going to get a different color depending on what you mix it with. Okay. And I think that's the, the case with saturated fat. I think all of us have to get to the idea. I have some friends that I dined with this weekend. And, um, you know, very health-oriented, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, uh, eats meats, but mostly of a fish nature. Scared of saturated fat, I, I believe, still feels that it's an unhealthy food. And that's where we want to say, uh, you know, it's kind of like if you believe you're going to succeed, you're, you're, you're right. And if you believe you're not going to succeed, you're right. Yeah. And it's the same way with fats, guys. If you, um, y you know, if you eat fats that have been... Uh, 
an animal that's living in a factory farm and eating the very grains that we tell you to stay away from, the soy and corn, which is what our factory farms feed animals, yeah. then you are, in fact, eating a food that's not what we want to see us yeah. eating. I had uh, some great steaks uh, over the holiday. So we mm -hmm. purchased eight steaks from this place called Mark's, M-E-R-X, I believe it is, mm -hmm. Mark's Foods, and they're out of Oregon. And they had eight bone into ribeyes, about 22 to 24 ounces apiece, mm -hmm. $188 delivered to your door, frozen. And I'll tell you, this was the best ribeyes I had ever had. Grass-fed? Grass-fed. Grass-finished. Grass-finished. Never, no hormones, no nothing, all natural. And I've had plenty before. Like, right. But these were the best tasting. And the fat on it was so interesting. Uh, you know, you take a piece and it was just all, about all fat and I put it in my mouth and it just melted in there. And then it, all of a sudden it dawned on me right there. So this is what the American Indian was talking about when it was eating the fat from the buffalo. How they prized that above everything else. They would leave the carcass there and take away the fat if, if they couldn't carry anything else. And that's something and, you and know. It's, it's the fuel. It's the consistent fuel. And how good you feel. I mean steak this big, I ate just the outer part of it and the stuff along the bone and the rest of it I have sitting at home waiting uh, for me to chow down on the rest of it. But So let's it be a little so bit delicious. devil's advocate. Okay. So when you just said that, we know when we look at these traditional cultures, the American Indian, uh, etc. Um, but we also know, uh, I've got, a, for example, a listener who wants us to have a debate, a okay. healthy, respectful debate, mm -hmm. about uh, the biblical foods. Mm -hmm. that what the Bible, the Old Testament says, are mm -hmm. clean and unclean foods. And there's a section in Leviticus, I believe, where it says, do not eat the fat from mm -hmm. these animals. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that in humans, where do we store our toxins in our fat cells? Sure. So we can know that's how this whole idea of the factory farmed food, the animals are extra fat because they... They're eating toxic foods that they weren't designed to eat. Um, so I would like to have that discussion mm -hmm. for the benefit of some people of what, how we think. But then you look at... Well, this, uh, the, the confusion, I think, is there are, have been so many studies from the 1920s on yeah. uh, about the fat. Mm -hmm. But they always lump all the fat into one category, and whether it's clean or not clean, clean whether it's from clean. animals or not animals. Or hooved or uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, I think... What the Bible was saying that, remember, this was a time when we were heavily into domestication. Mm -hmm. And domesticated animals we know are not as healthy. And this may be one of the reasons why in the best, you take the domesticated cows or animals and you take the non-domesticated, you're going to have much healthier in the wild animal. Ah, so, that's a great explanation so because it really was. Yeah, but of course, uh, the church at different times and different churches have outlawed certain foods because they were scarce. Or and, like and the fish humans, thing. yeah, we were uh, making making you eat fish so instead the of the pork, right, right? Because the pork that was eating the same grains as the humans, right? So they wanted the church wanted to get more surplus. So let's not have the pigs eat it. So we go fishing for a while. But you know, in Europe, uh, even in the 1700s, there was a shortage of food. Uh, of course, we were into the Dark Ages, but also the rivers had been cleaned out with fish. The uh, a animals that uh, generally were hunted by everybody could only be hunted by the royals. So we have to be mindful you know, of the political undertone. A lot of political stuff going on uh, during those times, too, and of course all the way through. But, uh, you know, one of the things, uh, I have an article here, it says Marx versus the myth of human nature. And uh, I got a great video by Green. He sent me a thing about the myth of human nature because, uh, you know, why do people behave the way they do? One common answer uh, to the question is that behavior is determined by something in our human nature. So greed, selfishness, war, violence is something that is innate in all of us. But what he is saying in this article that I read, and also this beautiful uh, video that was sent, which I'm going to put in one of the future uh, uh, newsletters, is that what happened is that uh, we were really competing uh, with each other for 
similar things, and that's what happens. When you're in more of a culture like the American Indian was like 50,000 years ago, or cultures were where they were hunter and gatherers, you find... Tribal. Tribal. Collaborative. Yeah. You know, you know, one of the things he said in here, we find that the American Indians didn't have religion, they didn't uh, do any farming, they didn't do domestication of any animals, maybe dog was the only one, and that was kind of voluntary from the dog. So they didn't have the same problems we did and the same anxieties we did. And so we now think it's human nature, all this violence, you know, in our society. As a society gets more and more people crammed into one thing, there's only one thing that started that whole process, mm -hmm. and that's agriculture. Mm -hmm. When we started growing our own food, we started hoarding it. Yeah. And we started also excluding other people from it. Because we used to share things, and when we started this whole uh, domestication of the human uh, humans, along with all the animals and, and also the earth, we really started uh, excluding people from that. We had a surplus, and we had to guard the surplus we because we know, well, we know there's tough times coming, mm -hmm. you know, so that's smart to do that, but I think uh, in the long run it has done uh, many, many disservices to us because I don't think our human nature really is that way. I think human nature is actually the, the other part, the giving, the sharing. In fact, if we did away with the monetary system today and all the stuff, the trading and all that's going well, that's on, more like a bartering. Yeah, I think we'll start being much more humane. Of course, we won't be crowded in the cities as much because uh, the surplus in food brings the surplus of humans also. Mm -hmm. You need more people, and that's very hard work. And we'd move out into wide open spaces Yeah. and be nicer to each other. Yeah. I yeah. would like that, too. I did, too. So it's a great article. Uh, it's called uh, Marx uh, versus, versus the, the Myth he of Human Nature. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one of the... Uh, this is... This guy here in Canada was studying the... This was in the 17th century. He was a Jewish... Jewish. Jesuit. Jesuit, excuse me. And he was studying some Canadian uh, Indians. And uh, they say uh, the uh, Canadians, or the white people, would punish their children or right. punish any children, really, they see, they put them in line, and uh, corporal punishment was seen by Indians as you can never do that, you never touch a child. Right. And he said one incident was where uh, one of the savages stripped themselves entirely, threw a blanket over the child, and cried out to him who was doing the whipping, strike me if thou wilt, but do not strike him. And then the little one escaped. Mm -hmm. So we're saying, and uh, Sitting Bull had a uh, famous quote, they have a mind to till, till the soil, and the love of possessions is a disease with them. These people have made many rules that the rich may break, but the poor may not. They take tithes, tithes. From, tithes from the poor and weak to support the rich who rule. They claim that mother, this mother of ours, our earth, is for their own, and they have to fence their neighbors away. Wow. So that was the great Sioux chief, Sitting Bull, yeah. uh, you know, talking about, you know, the white man pretty you know pretty keen observation well certainly from his perspective that was the that was the case i mean they were the true nomads so yeah they they yeah. had no class divisions uh, they were buffalo hunting uh, and they shunned farming so you know wow yeah. so human human nature i think is actually being kind giving and things like that and we see of course in our society a lot of people who can do that mm -hmm. but we i think we do take away from the poor to give to the rich Mm -hmm. uh, instead of the Robin Hood version, which is kind of a little bit nicer. Yeah. But stripping yourself of possessions is another this part, part of this uh, whole renewing cycle that takes place. Yeah, well, let's so talk about that when we get yeah, back. Yeah, a little purging. Yeah, New Year purging. purging. I've been doing that, by the way. I have, too. Have you? Yes. Been cleaning yeah. out? Uh, that's what I want to talk about. We'll be right back, folks. The number here still is 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly 
concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. So welcome back, everybody. I'm Paige Clark and Nico Dohan, living a primal lifestyle. You know, sometimes, guys, a picture is worth a thousand words. If you look up the, the Telestrator, um, you know, we've got a website for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. That's the uh, Registered Dietitian Association. Uh, RDA has now come up with a newer name. We'd like you to draw. We'd like to draw attention to the sponsors of the Academy of Dietetics and Nutrition. You know, um, this is enough to make you sick. Uh, currently, they want to thank their national sponsors, which are Abbott Nutrition and the National Dairy Council. Um, and the premier sponsors are the Coca-Cola Beverage Institute for Health and Wellness, General Mills, Kellogg Company, PepsiCo, and Unilever. I know Unilever is, uh, I'm not sure. They, I think of deodorant when I think yeah, of that. But again, yeah, you, w soft. when you start to look at, just like you understand that the media is owned by about five groups, so are the food companies. Yep. And in fact, many of our, our uh, organic companies are being bought up by these huge, what I call, corporate um, 
fake food companies. So um, the way you know, I look at it, Paige, is these companies, you know, Coca-Cola, General Mills, Kellogg's, and PepsiCo are designing your meals for you through the National Institute, this Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and also the uh, uh, diet. Uh, was it the uh, people who have? Um, Type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Yeah, the, diet, the American Diabetes Yeah, Association, they're highly yeah. sponsored by Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola and those correct, people. Correct, correct. So, I mean, this is where their information is screened through, let's put it that well, way. Well, and if you notice, they've got a key that says find a registered dietitian. Um, we live in uh, Florida. Florida is a very um, uh, uh, strict state that dietitians have the exclusive right to practice nutrition in fact technically a medical doctor is not allowed to give nutritional advice you know um, you know uh, this is a sad affair yeah. that is weird well, well no it's actually not because you know the well, doctors are, but, but the yeah. point of it is is that these folks are the same people that when you go visit a sick family member mm -hmm. like a diabetic in the hospital they're having sugar-free chemical jello and they're having crackers and and uh, you know uh, it's just nonsense. Yep. Uh, you know, again, we have to take control of our own health. I'm not, dis this is not to say that there aren't some brilliant registered oh, dietitians, no but these it. registered dietitians that are usually on the brilliant side are the ones that are, yep. they've, they have opted out of this organization uh, in their own good consciousness. They can't really, um, you know, be a part of organizations such as this. The other thing about this organization, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, uh, is that it's mafioso-like. Um, they are, you know, coming after people in the food movement. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, and saying you can't talk about food. We don't have a right to talk about food. So just um, stand up and, 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 and say that you're going to look at what makes sense for the yeah. health of your body. Now, Mark in the chat room was saying that uh, he saw a free-range fed turkey uh, at the market for 70 bucks. Ouch. Yeah, well, that's pretty steep, no doubt about it. And you're going to find uh, a lot of really expensive of food, uh, but you can also find them a little bit cheaper. Turkey, for me, is not the greatest bird in the world. I think it's really domesticated. Uh, there's not a lot of wild turkeys that people are shooting out there. There are some, though, and they're probably a lot healthier than the ones that are farmed or domesticated. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Have you ever had a wild turkey? Uh, I can't remember. I may, I may have. So one maybe wild Canada. turkey or wild pheasant, yeah. and duck. These are more likely to be healthier it, uh, birds. Yeah, that's for sure. And the white turkey breast is not appealing to me at all. So I like mm -hmm. the darker meats anyway. But uh, I think you'll find, Mark, that uh, you know a lot of things are expensive out there. But I mean, those ribeyes. I mean, yeah, they're twenty bucks a piece, but you get two or three meals out of them. And I find that if you're eating more nutritionally dense food, in the long run, you're going to save money. You're going to be eating less if you get on this primal type diet you're not going to be eating any junk and you're going to find that your food bill probably in the long run over a year's period will not go up i think when you stop buying all those packaged boxed and bagged things you see a real improvement yep. so guys we, happy new year uh, we really enjoy meeting with you we're looking forward to a great new year so we'll see you next week yep Take have care. a good one Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.